but Hart was running across the front, but it looked as if Salmon was the only man to touch it first up. Well, I think uh, Salmon believed that Ben Hart may have uh, got a finger to that ball as he came across there. He certainly wasn't going back claiming that mark. As it have made a change already. Grenvold on, and he has replaced Willie Dick. 30th goal for the season for Salmon if he scores. Drop part, leans back, kicks it straight through. It's 4-2 to 2-2. Salmon's got his second. Yes, well, he's the danger man, of course, on that Essendon forward line. There's Willie Dick. He's been... And Paul Salmon from only about 15 metres out. Kieran's born. He's been in good form in recent weeks, but now all eyes on Paul Salmon. He's kicked it. It's almost impossible to stop Paul Salmon when he decides to lead. Their problem is getting it down there tonight, isn't it? Once they get it down there, he looms as a very big danger. That's where we see Alessio, who's done most of the ruck work, having a spell on the interchange bench. And uh, Somerville doing the ruck work in his absence. Paul Salmon is creating quite a few headaches for Nigel Smart. Kick from about uh, 40 metres. Important one for the Bombers. This brings them right back within eight points. Leans back, high drop, and he's kicked it pretty well. Looks a goal. It is. Four to Salmon and six to Essendon. And they're within eight points of the Adelaide Crows at 7-5 to 6-3. Yes, well, Paul Salmon really... The difference as far as Essendon is concerned because Salmon is providing a very good target playing at full four. Well, what an important turn. Should be a terrific last quarter. Both teams with so much to play for. You'd reckon they'd give 100% for the whole 30 minutes. Wren, Schwert, Andrew Jarman, McGuinness. Quick kick to half forward to a vacant space. Ben Hart with a bit of pace but uh, falling over and uh, not a good move in the end. Wanganeen to Kilpatrick. He runs his uh, 10 metres in left foot. Good looking kick to half forward and running into it Somerville. So the Bombers with a good kick again to spawn some loose checking. I mean, Essendon strongly attacking and if spawn goes here into a slight breeze. Well, Spawn also appears to be playing now at centre-half forward. Maynard was caught between trying to stop Somerville and then trying to get back to uh, cover Spawn. Well, Salmon kicked the first goal of the game. It's about the only time Essendon's been in front. Spawn's kick right there. Jarman trying oh. to take it away. Tasket, kick it, still with the ball. Denham, handball back. Kick by Salmon, goal. Seven to Salmon. And the Bombers are in front. 12-9 to 12-8. There's Alessio watching on the bench. As we see this in replay. Almost uh, knocked through there by Tasker. Tried very hard to get it through for a rush behind. Denham with that quick little hand pass out. And Salmon on the end of that, snapping his seventh goal. persisted tonight and now they lead the early going of the final term Jarman who's been a star since Adelaide down towards their half forward line Grenvold rakes it in brilliantly now loses control shovels it out to kill Patrick crowd what a throw Hart dives on top of it back comes Grenvold and the ball up lip tack is off the ground it came off with Graham Corns and it's a bad trait that I've seen a number of times with Adelaide this season. The players gesticulating and gesturing, shaking their head when they're either coming off the ground or, in that case, talking with the coach. Doesn't look too flash. Here's McDermott. High kick inside the 50. Storming up the ground. Ingerson took his eye off the ball. Thompson did well. Hills is away. The Bombers lead. Hills running away from half back. Kicks it down towards half forward. In from the side. Kick it. Great mark. Hayes going back with it to Bickley, end-to-end -end stuff at the moment, Darrell Hart on the outer side, told to go, comes back, and they've combined quite often tonight, this is Ben Hart. Centre wing, oh, not a good kick, poor in fact, Bomber Thompson to O'Donnell, put him under some pressure, quick kick away, straight to Lee, so untidy by Essendon as well. 
And Marshall on his own at half forward. Daryl Hart running inside. Schwert calling for it. Marshall swings as he often does. Centering kick. Danaher in the front spot. Ingerson almost stopped. Maynard's left foot snap. And it should be marked. Roaring of these Adelaide pros to pull away now. Can they do that? It falls at the feet of the Ruckman. McDermott goes to ground. Danaher had him. That's Chris Danaher. And we'll have a bounce. 13 8 to 12 9. It's a cold night at Football Park. Rucks go at it again. O'Donnell towards half forward. In front. Denham had it knocked away. Buick shrugs a tackle. Down to Salmon, who's perfectly placed. Well, well done by Smart. He showed a lot of strength. It falls to Ridley, who was pushed in the back as he tried to kick. And he must get a free kick. Well, the crowd don't like it, but of course it was there. Ridley, two hands in the middle of the back. Yes, he caught it, Dennis, firmly in the middle of the back there against uh, Ridley. The crowd's incensed, as you would expect from the parochial Adelaide crowd. Jarman's not happy either. And this to put Essendon back in front. It's been a close, high-standard game tonight. And Ridley, he was the 13th man taken in the 90 draft. Kicks and kicks Crawley. He was a full forward with Claremont in the WAFL, kicked a lot of goals there. And that had the stamp of a full forward kicking at goal. They lead by a point. Yes, he's been used in a number of positions. Uh, Ridley for Essendon, that's his fifth goal. And we see that free kick paid against Tasca. I don't think there should be too many complaints about that one because he was pushed right in the middle of the back. The replay of the kick. He was drafted from Claremont, as Dennis said. He's been averaging 18 disposals per match. Bombers back in front at Football Park. Wren takes a flying jump to half forward. A one-point ball game. Kilpatrick. Thompson touches at once. High left foot. Bickley will have to show some courage there. Did keep his eye on it very well. Maynard robbed by Denham. Bickley gets back. Jarman's quick hands to Daryl Hart. Runs his full quota. Kicks to half forward. Ben Hart, no free kick. Well played Werner. Took a chance. Left his man. Showed a bit of dash. Left hand handball. Had some power. Kilpatrick sure. under pressure. Straight up. Oh, gee. Scott Lee. Allowing O'Donnell. Yes, O'Donnell, the only player that really wanted that ball. He kept his eyes on it and attacked it. Scott Lee chose to stay down. Look at this, Harvey to Spawn, a paddock. Wren, now Spawn should take him on, and he does. Goes round him and then goes with a long one. You'd back Salmon. Smart in the front spot. Salmon goes to ground. Jarman well played, but caught. A goal hitter, Buick will be damaging. Goes for it. He might have kicked it, I reckon. Hey. This would be their biggest lead, certainly, in the game tonight. And what a time it's come at. Got some big games coming up, Dennis. The Eagles next week, followed by St Kilda, then Fitzroy, Footscray and Collingwood. Well, they don't Five big matches there. They don't need to look past this one quite yet. Here's Marshall, dragged off it. Wanganeen, he turned 19 on Tuesday, pulls it back towards half forward. Derek Kickett leads in the race. The Bombers looking better at the present time. Kickett goes long down towards full forward. It's another one. Marvellous goal. Well, the Bombers are on fire. 15-9 to 13-8. He's been used in a number of positions. Derek Kickett started off in the centre on Jarman and went to the back line when Jarman got on top. And now being used in that forward line, being picked up by Pays, who started the game on the interchange bench also. There's that long kick into the forward line. Great goal by Derek Kickett. Thirteen point margin now, 15-9, 13-8. What will Adelaide's response be? Essendon on a real roll. Wren's been winning the taps out of the centre. No advantage been given. Somerville Court, Jarman, who's been a tireless to Patterson. McGuinness. Ingerson on a long lead. Danaher at the back. Thumps away cleverly. Ben Hart tried to rob it. Well played Anthony Danaher. He's a little out of touch for his own high standards. Goes to the boundary line and out of play. Yes, he had a couple of rests last week playing in that game against the Brisbane Bears. Mark Micken spent a fair bit of time on the interchange bench after starting at centre-half forward. Was dragged very early. 
So Ingerson does the ruck work. Danaher over the back. Thompson caught. And uh, holding the ball. So Patterson's free kick from half forward. Too far out to score. Plays on quickly. Ingerson the target. Underneath it. Coming in Werner. Off the ground by Schwert. Kilpatrick was a hard one under pressure. Hills goes in to join him. Schwert's over the top. Thompson slings it out the back to Danaher. Legally though. Chris Danaher kicks towards centre wing. Good mark Somerville. Bickley was bearing down. I know it's a bit like uh, Goliath and David coming at you, but he still held it well. Goes to Anderson in the centre. They're looking good, Essendon, to and Wanganeen. Anderson down towards half forward. Yes, Wanganeen across to O'Donnell. He chips it out wide. Spawn, sliding mark. He's got it just outside the 50. Well, they persevered and persevered. Now Somerville, his run on down the ground, has taken the mark. That's well a good move that by Kevin Schutte playing Somerville in the ruck Alessio off the ground he started off doing the ruck work Somerville at centre half forward was thrown into the ruck and he's very mobile around the ground he's run into the forward line on a number of occasions Wren has been caught between the two not sure whether to go with Somerville or to cover Salmon well that was hard running there because he just took the mark on the wing opposed to Bickley he's run on down to kick it goal from 25 metres out and he's been by 19 points. Have kicked four goals without reply in about five minutes. Salmon was just giving his knee a test a moment ago. Kick by Chris Danaher. The Bombers are running from everywhere. Kick it. Has been pretty important in this last quarter. Kick one miraculous goal. Squeezes it to Chris Danaher. Wanganeen on the run through. Takes Jarman on. Little left footer towards centre half forward. Tasker in the front spot. Ridley with him. Buick's normally very good in these situations. Smart held it up. The handball over the top. Here's Salmon. Can he kick his eighth? He has. Shut the gate. No question now. 17-9, 13-8. And they're stunned, these Adelaide Crows fans, and why not? Salmon with eight goals and Essendon with five without reply in a hurry. It's been a great quarter by the Bombers. And Salmon bettering his uh, best goal-kicking performance for 1992. He did kick seven against Melbourne. That one off the ground. Eight for Paul, Big Paul Salmon as Adelaide has made another change. Lip tack back onto the ground. He's replaced David Brown. And Brown trudges off. There's the time remaining. And what a transformation's come over this game. McDermott gets it away to McGuinness. It was a good tap out by Wren. Grenville got a hand to it, knocks it to the advantage of Harvey. He goes to ground under Ingerson, and we've got a whistle and a bounce. Well, Adelaide, if they lose this, I think you'd have to suggest they're gone for the season. They've got a decision or two to make here. Will they go meekly into the night? Will they stand up and show some defiance? There's the bounce. Taken by Thompson. Thompson boots it towards the outer side. Chris Danaher, he's been a good player since he came onto the ground, goes out of bounds. He does the hard stuff and he's done it on McDermott for the best part of the night. It doesn't come much harder. So a throw in outer side, 17-9 to 13-8. And the Bombers have got up off their knees. Patterson, taken by Harvey, in trouble. Spills to Wanganeen. And the youngster comes away, dragged down. Lip tack an opportunity. Back comes Wanganeen. Ridden into the ground by Liptak. Hart going nowhere. It's tough in there. And another ball off. Wanganeen asking the question, why wasn't it a free kick for in the back there? Ridden into the ground. Here's Liptak charging at him there. 111 to 86. What a transformation in such a short time. Patterson. Thompson. Oh. Caught. Gone. Holding the ball. And it's had to be. Great tackle there. Uh, Liptak. Yes, lip tack started the last quarter on the interchange bench. Centering kick, Patterson, Anderson from the side. Patterson taps it back. McGuinness trying to charge his way through. Good defensive play again. Danaher's handball, very effective. Now Wanganeen on the end of a Kilpatrick handball. Through the centre, providing the Bombers with run to set a half forward. Ridley in the front spot. Uh, Smart was a bit lucky there. Came off kick it and rebounded to him. Here's Pays, quickly on. Spawn at the back. Maynard and also Schwert who's uh, died out of the game after a brilliant start for Ridley and Pays ball in. I think what's shocked her is that Micken's coming on for Patterson. I think what's shocked everyone, Bernie, is that it's taken Essendon about to three quarters to edge up to Adelaide and suddenly they've caught them and gone bang. Especially as they're uh, kicking into a slight breeze in this last quarter, Bruce. They've certainly shown character, plenty of it. 
Ewing called for a throw. Actually, Adelaide, you know, really, uh, they really did need to win this game. They've got Sydney next week at home, then Footscray at Waverley, Melbourne at home, Fitzroy at home, Richmond away and Brisbane away. So not a real tough run, Dennis, but they really needed to, uh, to win this one at home just to assert some sort of authority. McDermott to McGuinness. Bickley was the man who sent them forward. Lee did well in a tight situation. The kick goes down. It was the pocket, though. Ill directed. He should have gone to the middle. This is Werner. And around the boundary. The confidence growing by the moment with Essendon. Towards the wing goes the kick. Oh, terrific mark, Wren. Runners inside. Told to play on. That wasn't a particularly good option eventually. Schwert got it back to Wren. Wren keen to make amends. Look at the big man work. Chris Danaher to Denham. Whoa. And now an opportunity for the Bombers. They've turned this defence around. Buick gets in behind them. Can go over the top to Anderson. Anderson with a little time. Measures the kick. Goes long and splits the middle. It's all 163 here tonight. And I can tell you, a lot of them are leaving. 13-8 to 18-9. There's mass exodus going out of the grandstands at this very moment after that Anderson goal. Well, the Crows have got uh, 12 and a half minutes. Tennis suggested they had to stand up and be counted or go meekly into the night. Well, their fans have decided that they've gone meekly all right, and they're going to join them in the night. Anyway, Wren. Wanganin, full credit to Essendon. It's been a tremendous performance against odds here. Schwartz high ball, back into the centre. Thompson at the back and takes the mark and at the moment it's just one way. Here's Grenvold from Thompson. Kicks it out wide. Brilliantly picked up by Anderson. Pulls it back very high. Kick it. Worked out of it. Good attempt at the mark by Payers eventually. And Jarman was hurt. It was Payers who cannoned into the back of his teammate. Bickley shovels it out looking for Schwert who showed courage. Buick kept his footing. Sliding in his Payers. He was ridden into the ground surely. No oh. free kick. Comes to kill Patrick, goes down towards full forward, storming up the ground, dropping the mark though is Smart. Still he goes, Nigel Smart, was awarded a free, advantage is paid, no advantage there in the umpire. <laughs> I'm not sure he can do this, he's pulling it back. I think he may have said, oops, when he blew the whistle he had his fingers crossed and was Barley's. So the kick will be taken down there by Smart. Does it work that way, Bert? Well, I'm not sure, Dan. <laughs> Sounds OK. Goes out wide, held by Pays to McGuinness, hugging the boundary line, long kick through centre, Micken goes up and takes a clever mark, 18-9, plays 13-8, seven goals straight in this last quarter by Essendon, they've been absolutely terrific, Micken inside the 50, and what breeze there is, is by behind the Adelaide Crows, throwing it out, Danaher should be penalised, no, Away goes Grenville, then kicking to the wing, and Wanganeen takes a very good mark. He's a terrific player, Wanganeen. Recruited from Port Adelaide. He plays anywhere. He's played magnificently over the last couple of weeks in the back pocket. Buick on the run. He's been good in the last term. Kick it. Gets rid of two. Oh. And a third. And a fourth. Well, gave the handball away. Still kick it. Left foot round the body. Ridley, good mark. Against Schwert. Well, Essendon trailing one stage by well over three goals as Graham Corns looks on. And uh, that Sydney game last year when Adelaide was beaten in this game, I feel, would be two of the hardest pills he's had to swallow. Sydney really finishing Adelaide off in 1991 in the most unexpected style. He just had the feeling most of tonight that they were in control, even though there was never a really big margin. But oh, suddenly it's all over. Ridley through. So the margin has blown out to 37 points virtually in the twinkling of an eye. Remarkable last term by the Bombers. Wren gets it down. Micken hurriedly towards half forward. The defence of Essendon since half time has been very, very solid indeed. Harvey boots it out wide and Hills going across takes the mark on his chest. Hills. High kick through centre wing towards half forward. Wren was interfered with, must get the free. He's tried valiantly tonight. He's up from half back. Kicking towards half forward. Harvey is favoured by the kick though. Knocked away by Micken. Thompson goes off the ground out towards the boundary. He pursues his own soccer kick and picks it up just inside. Little chip pass intended for Kilpatrick who showed courage. Going back. He's marked this one at right half back. 19-9 to 13-8. Just under nine minutes remaining. 
centre wing. Ridley in the front spots had a good final term. He's had some mates in that regard. Denham Court. Ridley back to Grenvold, who's running into a bit of form. Buick the target of great mark. Running backwards at full flight to take a mark and well, got to go back. Cheeky, isn't he? See, there hasn't been much opposition in, the, in this last quarter from uh, the Crows. Kilpatrick. Nearly killed the umpire. He had some opposition. <laughs> That's about the only opposition they've had. Running over the top there of uh, Grant Vernon. Jarman off for the Crows. He's limping off the ground. And David Brown back on. Heard his back, I think, Bernie, in that uh, about half back a few moments ago. Somerville clearing the pack. Here's Kickett. Under pressure, written into the ground. Play on call. Oh, there's about three free kicks there to kick it, Bruce. Surely that first one was a free kick. If I not the second getting, one. I think he's getting the second or third one. As uh, Jarman's gone in and Kickett is getting the free kick. Yeah, well, he, he really earned that one. A very sloppy tackle on that first instance. Very kick it uh, started off. Well, in reasonable fashion, but Jarman got well on top. There we see uh, Pace coming over the top there. And then I think it was Smart jumping into his back. Across the face for Kickett. But, uh, well, it makes no difference in the end result now when we look at the scoreboard. Jarman in a bit of pain. 13-8 to 19-10. And uh, what a disappointment here for Adelaide. Would have to be worried... Uh, about their capitulation in this final term with so much at stake and so much in terms of opportunity and unable to really do anything with it. Lip tax kick to a vacant centre half forward spot. Storming up the ground, Ingerson and ricochets off his shins. Chris Danaher goes to ground. Now he's in trouble. Forces it out one handed, taken by Grenville, away to Harvey. Boots it out wide towards the boundary line. Hills leads in the race out there and he's content to usher it across the line. Well, 19-10 to 13-8, it's going to be a big victory in the final analysis for the Bombers. I've seen a lot of Adelaide this season. And if I was a supporter of the Crows, there are some worrying signs there. I think as much to do with morale as anything else. This is McGuinness going off the ground, taken by Grenvold. High kick towards the wing. Denham missed it and is penalised for a push in the back before he missed it. Well, a lot of people thought last year, Dennis, after their... 1991 season they would have been featuring in the finals in 1992 but uh, with five wins and seven losses they're really up against it now they've probably gone backwards on last year's form looking at uh, tonight's performance Kilpatrick quick hands lip tack bumped off it crashing into his back was Denham Kilpatrick gets it across to Anderson Ridley was there initially with a hand pass intended for Salmon who pushed smart in the back nothing doing Trying to go off the ground was Buick. Back to goal now, Buick. Still running away from his own goal. Gets it to Kickett. He's had a lot of possessions tonight. Derek Kickett goes long down towards full forward. And Hart does very well, considering the quality of the opposition. Gavin Wanganeen to mark on his chest. He finds McGuinness. Half back. Started well. He's had uh, an average game by his standards. Maybe a bit below average by his standards. Maynard. Lip tap. Held up. No free kick. Spawn. Still spawn. Lip tack uh, stops and props and then gives away a free kick hanging on. Well, oh, the crowd incensed and rightly so, I think, Bruce, because that was an obvious free kick a minute ago to Lip tack. The same sort of circumstances. He's really rubbing salt into it there. Anderson as uh, Willie Dick getting ready to come on. Squares it to Harvey. He had his problems earlier tonight, but getting some kicks now. That one floating over the top. Chris Danaher, free kick McDermott. Advantage is paid and played. Bickley, who's been one of Adelaide's better players. To half forward. Over Murphy's head. Anthony Danaher, way out in front of Ingerson. It's just fallen apart, hasn't it, for the Crows? Kick it. Harvey. Grenvold. Now, Willie Dick's just come on. He's going to get the easiest kick he'll have tonight. Should kick it to Spawn. Gives it a bit of power. Now, Somerville on his own at centre-half forward. Spawn runs around. Salmon in the goal square. Will he kick his ninth big ball? Sets himself and grabs it very well. Yeah, set up beautifully. Smart just staying off him. And Salmon with that height advantage. 206 centimetres. Paul Salmon up against Nigel Smart. 188 centimetres. A very hard man to stop. 
really when you look at the uh, this match his role has been so significant because he was the the man that kept the win didn't he with his goal scoring mm. ability in that first half yeah, he sure did and now he's putting the uh, cream on top of the cake when he goes in to kick goal number nine leans back straight through the middle just over three and a half minutes to go in this contest then well it's no contest really as you can see 2010 to 13 8 nine goals so far in the final term for the bombers lip tack down towards half forward micken leads in the race harvey outmaneuvers him grenvold's got it at left half back he kicks it out wide and it proceeds to run across the boundary line just going back to that question of morale i raised earlier well, I won't because we're going down to Max Stevens. Thanks, Dennis. Andrew Jarman has gone down into the rooms for treatment. He has a lower back injury and will be taking no further part. Ball off hands. Kilpatrick goes off the ground. Down towards half forward. Opportunity for Spawn. Taken by O'Donnell, who centres it. And the mark is held by Anderson. Anderson into the path of Somerville. Very clever kick. And Somerville, like a juggler, slaps it on. Intended for Salmon. He was trying to do the right thing and give Salmon his tent. But unfortunately, it came unglued. And Hart comes away with it and finds Schwert. Schwert's at halfback. Plays on. Gets it across to Hart. This is Daryl Hart from halfback. Goes in short. Brown. Alongside the centre circle. Brown towards centre half forward. Harvey in from the side. Should have got a free kick he will he was pushed in the back he's just drifting across the front of the pack there Ingerson bearing down Had nowhere else to go other than jumping to Harvey's back Anderson and Tasker forced on by Grenvold good take <laughs> through the center to center half forward Somerville now Sam and Willie kick his tenth he's one out in the square Somerville unable to quite get it there but he can kick it to within about 25 meters which he's done salmon in the front spot big stretch well played smart at the back here's kick it trying off the ground now ridley to go around and kick his third and he does all too easy 21 10 13 8. well i guess we could be critical of the crows but on the other hand why not be positive about these young bombers who are really flying high at the moment They've shown a lot tonight, haven't they? Bruce, this last term, especially 10-goal quarter. That's magnificent football when it's been so tight all night and then just to run away with the game as they have. Ridley kicking his third, all coming in this last quarter. Salmon's also kicked three for the final term. Nine for the match. Well, Plenty of promise there amongst the running players in this Essendon side. You've said they've got a hard run, Bernie, but uh, there's a lot of ammunition now for Kevin Sheedy. Morale would be sky high at Windy Hill during the week after this performance tonight. Yes, they've been terrific. Have their problems early, but they've really weathered the storm and they're putting their stamp on this game as McGuinness has it across half-back. Gets it away to Bickley. Bickley from the half-back flank looking for Liptak. Finds him on the bounce. Liptak around it. McGuinness sold into trouble. Quick hands back to Liptak. He finds Hart. Hart on the wing goes to half-forward and Brown. Now Brown can run. He elects to hand pass instead to Marshall who slips over. Well, it's been that sort of night. Picked up by Brown coming back to assist. He was pushed in the back by Dick. And he'll get this free kick about, I suppose, 35 metres out from goal. Well, at three-quarter time, the Crows led 12-8 to 11-9. And kicking with the breeze in the final term, the Crows have advanced to 13-8 and Essendon at 21-10. Remarkable figures. Wow. And uh, put themselves in a 7-6 situation right there with Hawthorne. In ninth position and challenging Marshall. Schwert. Marshall held up. McGuinness got a good hip and shoulder. Now Grenvold as Essendon swing it across the hills. O'Donnell's running inside for him if he wants him. He now goes to O'Donnell. O'Donnell from the point of the square. Salmon one out. They're going to try and give him a tenth. Salmon in a good spot. Good stretch. Couldn't quite take the mark. Spawn with an opportunity. Still Spawn looking for kick. It goes back to Anderson with a strong handle. Left foot. And the siren sounds. And the bombers are big winners at football park. 21-10, 1.36 with that man Paul Salmon kicking nine goals tonight over Adelaide 14-8-92. And the story of the last quarter, 11 goals, one to Essendon and two goals to Adelaide. Make that uh, 10 
one. My arithmetic's been poor all night, Bernie. Ten one to two goals, eleven scoring shots into a breeze, and uh, well, Adelaide will be very disappointed, but their disappointment will be matched by the elation by Essendon tonight. Ingerson started well. Liptak, uh, their um, not his best night. He was shaded by Wengen. Their own ability now, and this has been a very big game for them as we go down to Max Stevens. Thanks, Dennis, and uh, Gavin Wengen. He's been good enough to stay with me. Uh, great to come back to um, Adelaide and uh, play with the Bombers and win against the Crows. Yeah, well, it's not easy winning uh, here in Football Park, and I think in the uh, beginning of the last quarter, up by a goal, and it's just a good effort to get back and win by six goals. You enjoying playing with Essendon? I mean, it was a toss-up, the Crows or the Bombers. Yeah, I was happy. I'm happy at Essendon. They're a good club, and I'm glad I made the choice that I did. And at this stage, no regrets? No regrets at all. OK, just uh, what happened at half-time? What did Kevin Sheedy say to you? Because that was the turning point in the third quarter. Um, he said, we're still in the game, even though they were up by a couple of goals. And I, he just said, look, we want to go home with a four-point win. And we did it, so it was a good effort. OK, Gavin, thanks okay. for your time. Thank you.